Hey y'all, it's Aurelius, hope you're doing well. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make step-by-step -step guides and eBooks. So check this out. I created this really quickly just to demonstrate the ease of use and the power of this very tool that I'm going to share with you in this video. So I did one on how to create an eBook cover. So you'll see the title page, every single step, including screenshots, all the way down to the very last step. So if you're a teacher, an educator, a coach, or someone who's creating an online course, this very tool is going to be really handy when it comes to creating guides and eBooks. All right, so the very first thing you're going to need is that tool I'm talking about, and the tool is called Tango. So originally this was created based on my understanding for internal use, such as standard operating procedures, and then sending instructions to other team members, let's say your marketing team, or teaching someone else how to do something. But for digital creators like you and me, what we can actually use Tango for is to create digital products. So the first step you're going to wanna do is to add Tango to your Chrome browser. Now, once you've added it, make sure you sign up for a Tango account. However, one thing I wanna mention before we continue is because Tango is a browser extension, it only works when you are on your browser. So whatever instructions you wanna share, it must be on your browser. But once you are ready to create your step-by-step -step guide, all you need to do is look for the little Tango icon on your browser. If you don't see this, all you need to do is click on the extensions icon and then enable Tango. Make sure you pin it so that it actually stays on your bar right here. Once you have that in place, click on the Tango icon and once you're ready to capture your workflow, simply click that blue button. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create an ebook cover in Canva. So I've got my Canva browser open right here. Let's go ahead and click on Tango and click on capture workflow so we can start. And you see Capture has started. Here is where the little uh, bar is. So all the tools are provided where you can see the number of kind of steps that have been recorded so far. So you'll see there's a little one indicator. There's a pause button if you want to do other things before Tango actually records it. There's also a restart button, a live blur, which is a pro account, I believe, uh, move right, as well. So you can move this little bar to the right if you want to do so, but I'll move it back here. Let's go ahead and create our first step, which is to go to the search bar and we are going to search for ebook cover. You'll see on the bottom left corner, now it's got two actions. With this next step, I'll click on the ebook cover option. You'll see that there's three actions now. From here, I'll go and select a template. Let's say this one here, Morning Musings. Taking note, there's four actions now. The next step could be something like editing the actual title. So I'll say, hello world. And let's say we are done now. Go and click on download. And now I'll click on download right here. And that is it. You'll see that there are nine steps. If I want to finish and end this procedure now, I can just go and click that complete button. Tango has now automatically generated all the steps. You start with the title by entering whatever it is this procedure or step-by-step -step guide is about. So I'll put in how to create an ebook cover in Canva. It's saying that the first step is to go to the home of Canva. You can very well edit anything you want. So go to the home page in your Canva account. That could be the very step, first step. If you want to elaborate on that, click on description and then enter your notes. The next step is typing in ebook cover. You can see that it's already generated that screenshot for you, saving you a heap of time having to individually screenshot every single step and also annotating and putting things like highlights it's all done for you, as you can see with the border around it. You can go even deeper by clicking edit content, clicking on, let's say arrow, and you wanna indicate something, you can do so by clicking arrow, choosing a line color, let's say you want red instead, and let's put an arrow right here. And now the changes have taken effect with that little arrow update. So go ahead, move along with the various steps that you went through, edit anything you want to do. So if you missed a step, for instance, you can always click the plus icon in between the steps. Let's say this one right here, click on add steps. If you select capture steps, that'll prompt and ask which window you want opened. I'll go ahead, scroll down and select ebook cover right here. And now you can see the recording has started. 
I can go in there and continue or add that piece of missing piece. Let's say I wanna click this instead. And once you're done with that missing step, all you need to do is click on complete once again, and then automatically it will go ahead and add that missing step where I added the little plus icon, which was between steps four and five. So this is what I just added. Next up, once you're done with your step-by-step -step guide, you can go ahead and download it as a PDF. All you need to do is click on share and export, click on download, and you can download the PDF right off the bat, or you can customize a PDF in your account settings. So going here, you'll be able to add things like your custom logo. So you'll see here the logo, as well as the screenshot highlight. However, I believe this is a Tango Pro feature only. So if you are using a free account, you're going to have to use the watermark, but I'll show you a way around it so you can further customize your PDF document. So going back, let's click on PDF. Here it is right here. I'll go ahead and open it up. This is what it looks like. It's got my logo, how to create an ebook cover in Canva, the creation date, which we won't in need. And then it continues on to the actual steps with the screenshots. Now I'm going to show you how to actually edit your step-by-step -step guide. The best way to do it, in my opinion, is to simply use Canva because they support editing of PDF documents. Go ahead and find your PDF document that you just downloaded and then drag and drop it anywhere on your Canva homepage. Wait for it to upload, as you can see here. Once it's uploaded, simply open it up. Here it is right here. The first step you're going to wanna to take is to delete any unnecessary pages, such as this main cover page. So we can go ahead and delete it, but I'm just going to use this as a simple title page. So I'll delete this logo right here. Clicking this as well, selecting this right here, the little underline, all this, and we can remove this page numbering as well. Let's say your logo, we can put it somewhere around here, and the title page can be centered right here. We can also make it bigger like so, and let's center it as well. So now we've got how to create an ebook cover in Canva. You can go a step further and actually design it by going to templates and perhaps selecting one of the template covers. Let's say this one right here, and we'll choose this main cover page. It's going to ask add template as new page. You can go ahead and replace it, but I'll go ahead and add as new page. Now you can see that template inserted. I can remove what I do not need. Let's say all these unnecessary uh, logos like so, and then basically copy over this. I'll copy and paste it right there. Also copying my logo, entering it down the bottom somewhere there. We no longer need this, so we'll click on the trash icon. And now we've got a cover page. Below that, you can see all the steps, including the screenshots. You can add anything you want or remove anything you want. But let's say you're satisfied with your step-by-step -step guide. From here, all you need to do is click on download. If you do come across the file type as an MP4 video, because I did insert this particular template, I think that's why it's detected that, you can go ahead and simply change the file type to a PDF standard or PDF print, which is high quality if you do want your students or customers to be able to print this guide. Make sure you select all the pages and then click on download. And this is what it looks like. We've got the cover page, including all the steps that we need in order to create an ebook cover. All that's left to do now is to simply upload it to our e-commerce store, our email marketing platform, or wherever we plan to distribute our step-by-step -step guide. So there you have it. That's how to quickly and easily create your own step-by-step -step guide or ebook using Tango. It's perhaps the most fastest and most efficient way to create a step-by-step -step guide because all the screenshotting is already done for you, even some of the descriptions, the titles, and the highlighting and annotations. If you enjoyed and got value from this video, by all means, give this video a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching and looking forward to sharing the next tutorial with you.